Hello, my name is Hector. Welcome back to how to play FTB Revelation. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a good day. Last episode, we did this. We did this thing. This right here. And it is working nicely. If we come and have a look, you can see we're still getting uh, lots of different stuff. Oh, I think we just got a bit more coal there, which is excellent. Excellent. So we know that the solar array here powers this but we we sort of also want a little bit more power um a bit more rf because we are still running <laughs> running all of these machines here off this this one thing and you can see our energy cell is basically always empty um let's have a look is there any more wood in there there is let's um let's pop that in here there we go that will eventually smelt up so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be looking at a mod called Extreme Reactors, okay? And this used to be a mod called Big Reactors, so it is it's a, an updated version of Big Reactors. So I might end up calling it Big Reactors, but it is now called Extreme Reactors, and it's a way to turn this yellowite uh, into power. And there's, this mod is very versatile. It is very versatile. It's good for beginning game because it, you know, it's fairly easy to get hold of the materials. It puts out a lot of power for, you know, the effort it takes to put into it. Um, but it is also good for late game because you, it's very adaptable. You can change it. But anyway, what we all need to make is reactor casing. Uh, we'll need two reactor access ports, so one in, one out. We will need a reactor controller and a power tap okay these are the oh and we'll need some control rods and reactor fuel rods now these aren't too bad to make you can see and the way you get graphite is basically smelting any type of coal you'll get graphite now because we've got nuclear craft in this pack it sort of changes it so um usually what you'll get is this graphite bar from extreme reactors but because we have nuclear craft in the pack and uh, you also get this okay so don't worry about that but and usually all in mod packs all of the graphite things or you know anything that has the same name is usually interchangeable if it's a good mod pack it should be interchangeable and uh, so that's what we're going to be making so i'm going to get some stuff together and oh no it's oh it's raining it's raining, which means, which means that will stop working because there's no there's no sunlight. Rubbish. I'm gonna get some stuff together and then we're gonna start building this and I'll I'll show you how this mod sort of works. So I have the things I need to make this: uh, reactor, uh, reactor redstone flux power tap, access port, two access ports, reactor controller, 61 reactor casings, three fuel rods, a reactor control rod reactor glass and 12 blocks of gold okay and then you'll need some uranium now usually with extreme reactors you'll make yellowite uh, which you can see we get from a void ore miner which is great and then if we look at the uses uh, you can smelt that into uranium but you can also um where are you where are you? Induction smelter. Ugh, there's, you can. You can pulverize this uh, and make eulorium dust. Oh, there you go. And then use that and you can double your output. Now, usually eulorium dust smelts into um, eulorium ingots like this. And that's what you you would usually use. Uh, but in this pack, it's for whatever reason, it's it goes into uranium. So just don't worry about that too much. Um, usually it's eulorium ingots, but in this pack it is uranium ingots, okay? Uh, and you can see uranium you can also get from another ore as well. Um, if we look here, uranium ore as well, which will is basically the same. You can see we're getting both of those, which is great because we're going to be using that to fuel um, the reactor. So... If we come up here, and you can see I've already been laying stuff out, I want to start with a 5x5 five five area, okay? Now, the outside of the reactor casing, the actual, the actual, uh, of the extreme reactor, needs to be with casing, okay? This is how this works. Now, you can, you can build this basically whatever size you want. I think it goes up to about 32 blocks or something, wide and high, that you can make this. So, you can really... You can use it to however you want. But we're going to do a 5x5, five five, which means that the inside will be a 3x3, three three, okay? So first of all, we're just going to make the actual 
the actual case, okay? So again, this is however you want to do it. Um, there we go, like that. Now, the bottom and the top will need to be filled in as well. So you need to use all your casing like that. And then the top, we're going to leave the middle one uh, empty like that, okay? And this is where our fuel rods are going to go. So the fuel... Um, again it can it can pretty much go anywhere but we're going to put it in the middle and that's because <coughs> <coughs> hello sheep um and that's because the fuel our uranium is actually going to go in there okay and we'll need to cool this so you tend to put this in the middle okay and then on the top you want to put a reactor control rod so every time Every time you have fuel rods, you need to put a control, uh, is it a control rod? Yeah, a control rod at the top. Okay, now, for instance, we could we could add more into this and, and, and that would work, but really, you probably don't want it touching the outside because you want to keep that for cooling, okay? So, we are going to cool it with blocks of gold. I have a lot of gold at the moment. Uh, and different materials will produce better cooling. And obviously, the, the more it's cooled, the more efficient it will be. That's sort of how it works. Don't worry too much if you're just starting off with this mod. Uh, don't worry too much. Other materials you can use, uh, you can use diamond, you can use graphite blocks, which is the cheapest. Um, you can also use, uh, instead of hard, hard um, blocks, you can use liquids. So destabilized redstone uh, if we have a look at redstone there you go destabilized redstone which if it's just redstone in a magma crucible will get you destabilized redstone enderium is a very good uh can we see yeah molten enderium so not resonant ender very important molten enderium uh which you can make in a magma crucible you need to make enderium blend pulverized grit or lead um Pulverized platinum and some resonant ender, which is just an ender pearl uh, that has been smelted. We'll get you that. Um, so there are different different ways of doing it. And what you need to do is you just need to, wherever the fuel rod has a side that is open, you need to basically cool that. Okay. Now you can even do this with water. Water will work as well. Again, it won't be as efficient. So you need to basically, what this mod is great at is whatever your situation, however you want to do it, it will allow you a way to do it. Uh, and a lot of people will say, you know, there's a right and a wrong way for extreme reactors. And this sort of is if you want to make it, you know, maximize efficiency. But if you just want something that works, that works fine, then this mod is great as well, okay? It really, it suits everyone's needs. So, we now need some of this stuff. So, we want input and output. So, we just change that to outlet mode. There you go, and that changes color. So, we will input our, um, our fuel into here, and then we will get waste out of here, okay? And that's how that will work. And you need a controller as well. And then this thing here is where we actually get the power out okay so that's pretty important so uh, then I'm gonna use uh, reactor glass you can just use casing if you want but it's sort of nice to see um, but it is up to you totally up to you if you use that or not again very you know very forgiving this mod in terms of how you might want to use it which is lovely I like mods that are that um, where did that, did that go where did oh you you went in there that's not what we want that's not what we want. There we go. So if you click it, you can see air is not a valid um, is not valid for the reactor's exterior. And that's because right now I've got blocks missing. So if something doesn't work, uh, just clicking on it will will tell you where there's an issue, which is great. Another another very handy thing. And once we put the last block in, there you go. You can see it shifts into a multi-block structure. You can see that is now a thing. And if we come here to the control, you can see this is the thing now. Okay, and uh, this is this is how it works. So you can see how <laughs> JEI is sort of in the way here, and you can see how. Uh, maybe if, now that won't help. There used to be a way to turn JEI off, but uh, I don't think there is anymore. 
Um, the temperature inside reactor core, higher temperatures increase the fuel. Um, is that burn up, I think? Yeah, burn up. So obviously the higher the temperature, the, the less fuel, well, the more fuel is getting used. It'll get, it'll burn quicker. So that's why you want to really use as good a, as good a coolant as you can. Okay. Now you can build this bigger and you can put more, um, fuel rods in, um, you can easily do that. And there is a really good website that will show you, and it's based on big reactors, but because all the numbers are the same from the old big reactors mod, you can still use it to make uh, extreme reactors reactors, which is amazing. So I'm going to put that, that link in the description and it just allows you to see different uh, using different materials, using, I mean, you don't have to make this a perfect cube. This can be, you know, this could be twice as wide uh, and we'll, we could keep it the same height. So you can mess around with all of the things there and it will tell you how many of everything you need to make it. It will tell you how much fuel it uses, it burns and how much it makes as well, which is great. So what we're going to do, what we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to take you off. Can I, can I get you? There we go. And we're going to take you off. And what we're going to do instead is, so this, you remember, we did this last episode, receives energy. So we're going to put that there. Um, select a network, my network. There we go. And then over here, over here, we're going to put you. There we go. And this sends energy. There we go. So that is just to get our energy that we're going to be using into there. So now we need two of these, two of these, one to go there and one to go there. Okay. And that just means that you can, you can put stuff in. So I'm just going to show you with one ingot right now. Um, if we put that in and we need to, you need to activate the reactor. Okay. That's how that works. Okay, so apparently that just won't, <laughs> that's been a while since I've used this. That won't just take it in, so we need to make a servo. Um, have I got one? Have I got a servo? No, I don't. Uh, I think it's that and that. Let's see. Okay, things are happening. Things are happening. So we've got this set to input, that set to output like that. I've just put one and get in and you can see it's making 82 RF per tick right now. Now it takes a while uh, for everything to get up. You can see the fuel reactivity, uh, fuel burn up rate. So obviously you want that to be as small as possible, energy output, and then the core temperature. Okay. So temperature inside reactor core, higher temperature increases fuel burn up. So these are the things you can basically balance energy buffer, um, which is, this is an internal buffer, but obviously we're taking everything immediately out. So, hello sheep. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick every all of my uranium in there right now. And you can see, bam, all of that goes in, all of this is full, and that's producing quite a lot more. So I think this should get up to about 1,000, yeah, something like that. That's what that's what my, uh, my thing said. Now, the... The thing is with this, that obviously you might not have all of that uh, uranium and you can, you can um, basically make it so that you maybe use one uranium every so often and you can regulate it. But for now, I just want a, a load of energy. Uh, this is sending it. This is great. And we should see, we should see if we come over here. We should see, there you go, look, we're getting all this lovely energy in here. So it's just transferring it in here, which is great. I mean, right now, I don't need a lot of energy. So like I say, you can really, you can really mess around with this mod. It's such a good mod, especially early game, like I say, um, to get you a great boost of power. Because once you have some, you know, some auto mining going, you will most likely get a quite a, a number of uranium and yellowite which you can process and then chuck in there and that will do its thing it's it's great it is totally great we've not got any waste yet and you can see this is 100% full which is great 1.2% depleted so you can see you can start to see this is how you can mess around with everything that you need and there you go it is now filling up this buffer because <laughs> because my energy cell is basically full already. That's 2 million RF that it's just generated uh, 
pretty much out of nothing and this is this is still quite happily going so this is excellent this is a brilliant little thing it's a great mod like i say very versatile i hope that's at least given you a bit of an insight i mean there's so much more that you can do to make this more efficient to make it better but for now early game this is brilliant this is great for us so i hope that's given you a little bit of an insight into another way of making some power that is, you know, slightly different to all the others, but it is a great beginner's um, RF power generation. So there you go. If this has helped, hopefully a like or comment would be very much appreciated. And of course, make sure to subscribe to keep up to date with all of this stuff. If you've got any more questions or any more tips, then let us know in the comments below as well. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all the sheep who have helped out during this episode. Um, I've been Hector. This has been How to Play FTB Revelation, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.